Hi there, Scott Allen here, and in this video I'm going to walk you through how to set up Amazon's A Plus content uh, for your book. What is A Plus content? That is content that allows you to use images or text to better highlight the great benefits of your book, whether it's fiction or nonfiction. And the A Plus content always appears on your book page. I'm just on Andy Weir's new sci-fi thriller here it appears underneath here from the publisher so you usually have to scroll down a little ways to see it now traditionally um, a plus content has always appeared um, it's always been able to be used through publishers only but now sub publishers have access to this too so that's a great uh, it's a great feature moving forward kdp is obviously making you know putting in a lot of effort to um, make this a great experience for self-published authors and I think the A plus content is a big step towards that. So anyway, what we're going to do, I'm going to walk you through some other examples of this just quickly before we jump in. Um, Stephen King, as you probably all know, he has got some uh, content down here as well. Now again, his publishers put this together, but it just gives you an example of like, shows you what, what's possible. You know, you can even use it if um, um, the book is in pre-order. This book's already launched, actually, but uh, I thought this was a, a good way for them to use it for the pre-order as well. Um, he's got some images down here, and he's even promoting, I think, his previous book. So, um, something else to look at here. I thought this was a, a great way to use these images as well. Some banners here. I'll get into a little some detail on this later, just how to set this up there's all kinds of different templates you can use like I think there's about 20 or so um, so not all of these look the same of course this is um, something else here this looks a little bit different from the previous one but you know there's lots of things you can do you can add in graphics you can have bullet points like this um, highlight uh, some of the benefits of the book over here and I'll also show you how to set up images such as this. Maybe not, not one with a chicken on it, but something, something uh, you know, more uh, um, cohesive to your book. So anyway, let's see. So what we'll do, let's start off with the A plus content. So how to set this up, I'll come back to some of these um, examples later. But we're just gonna go into KDP. So if you go into your bookshelf, you're just going to start there and of course the number one requirement is you do have to have a um, book available in the store and again this can be in pre-order as well you can still set up a plus content for that but if your book is um, ready to go then just start with the marketing tab go into there and then the a plus content should be down here and go over to choose a marketplace um, if you do want to read up by the way if you want to read up on the the guidelines or um, I was just looking at some of the examples actually then you know you can check out the guidelines over here um, I won't go through this whole thing but basically just what it says is like no um, no external links uh, don't promote other products, etc. Trademark and copyright symbols are acceptable if they're da -da. okay. So you may want to go through this just to make sure that you're not putting anything in there that goes against their guidelines. Um, I think most of it's common sense, but then again, you know, like with Amazon, that's probably common sense could mean something for to us. It could mean one, a different thing. So you know, just make sure you go through and uh, you know some of these things like like for example like buy now at the cart. I mean. I don't know, I might be tempted to put something like that into my A-plus content, but obviously they just want to keep it very clean. Um, you're just uh, you're promoting your book just through the text only, but even that is limited because they don't want you to be um, you know, using uh, like review snippets, things like that. So they do have to be like, you have to use uh, legitimate testimonials, etc. So anyway, just check out this page um, before you move forward if you want to, and then Go to choose a marketplace. I would start with Amazon.com. Go to manage A plus content. And boom, we are in there. So I've already set up a couple here. Um, this is the one that I did for the US. And I've got one here I'm working on for, I'm working on a Spanish version as well. 
Um, but I'm not going to get into that one uh, in this video. We're going to start creating A plus content. Before we do, just going to take a look at what I've created here so far. I did all of this in Canva, by the way. We're going to look at Canva in a moment. But um, these images, I, um, I got through a, uh, a mock-up generator tool. Uh, there's some free tools you can use online. And you can also go to Fiverr. And there's people in there who can create these images for, you know, like 50 of them for 10 bucks or something like that. So I would encourage you to, to uh, take your cover. Um, you can use the mock-up generator in the course. Or you can go to Fiverr and get a whole bunch made up on there as well. But this is just um, what I've got going for now. I may, I'm may i testing different um, different templates too. So this one's still in review though. It's been there for about a week, which is actually a long time. So if that happens to you, just email them and see if they can uh, you know push it through. But I think they do say it could take, potentially it could take up to 10 days, which is a long time. Sometimes it takes a lot, it um, doesn't take as long as that. Anyhow, let's uh, just jump back. I'm just going to go into start creating a plus content so this is the first thing you want to click on and what you're going to do first of all is just give your content a name so we're just going to call this you know my book um, just call it that uh, obviously it'd probably be the title of your book you're the only one that sees this um, set the language um, I think they've only got a few there to choose from okay they might add to that later but you got that for the language there, and that's it. Now, um, when you go to add a module, boom, there we go. So we have got a lot of choices here um, that you can use for your book. And you can have up to five modules. So we're going to take a look at that. Um, one of them that um, I'm just recommending this, but I started with a standard image and dark text overlay which is how I, how you can get something like this right here actually is an example of that image, right? Where maybe you've got an image of your book here with some, um, you know, some text on the, on the front like that. So that could be, um, that could be something you might want to start with. Um, so I'm just going to actually click on that. Boom. All right. And there we go. So I've inserted that. You can put some text here as well. Um, but if you have an image, so this is where Canva comes into play. I'm going to look at that in a moment. But you can also add a second module. So the second module may be, I want to have something like this one here. All right. So you could have um, an image here of, you know, it could be like uh, an image from your book. You know, if you did a, something on gardening, maybe you've got a, an image, image of your plant here, and then you can put the text into here. Now some of this text, maybe you can you can just write it up in this box, or you can take it from your book description, or anywhere like that. You can also um, add bullet points, which wow, this is great. You can add like um, I'm not sure how many it'll go to, but you know you can add quite a few bullet points. Is there? I really like this actually. Um, you know this um, this layout here. So again, it's um, big image here. You can break it down here. And you can even have more modules. Now you don't have to use all five. Um, maybe the next one could be, let's just say if you use like standard text down here, maybe you want to use this for your your author bio or, or something like that. Um, I think it's good not to have a lot of text. Like I think this is really good, this one over here where they have the, the breakdown of the bullet points. Um, I like this as well, but this right here, this is a good example of the text that we're looking at right here, like standard text. Like I think that's what he's, whoops, he's, he's used that, um, that module right there. So it looks like this book here, if you look at it, this would be one module, big banner there with the book cover. Second module would be probably the same thing, um, just uh, he changed the background's color there. Third module would be, um, which was what I think we were just looking at up here, right? You know, with the small image, the body, the, the bullet points. And then the fourth module looks like, yeah, it looks like maybe he used four modules in this book. Fourth module is just a, a breakdown of the, I don't know, the crush and the strain method, so, all right? 
Now I'm just going to show you, just uh, let's see, just going to go to one more. Here's another example. Um, uh, Bill Miller, he has got in his, he's got a nice little setup here. He's got a, you know, image of his book, the award that he has won through Book Authority, and then another module down here with uh, four images, all right? So looks like Bill might have used two modules for that. All right, so again, it's up to you. You can use two to five modules. Um, again, right here, it looks like uh, with this one, they used one module, and then the second module was just three images, all right? So anyway, I'm jumping around quite a bit, just showing you all the different, uh, there are different versions, um, different options. You know, you, you can see here, like this one over here would be like a standard company logo. So, you know, maybe... I don't know, you want to put your company logo there. And then I think you got one more, whoops, you got one more module you can use there. Now, we know that there's lots of modules we can use. Um, I would just use some of these, you know, go through some samples on Amazon, just see, you know, just see what's what. Uh, it's going to show you the next thing. Okay, we're done with that. The next thing would be... Um, where to get the images. All right, so this is an important thing is that these images can only be a certain size. So for example, um, if you look here, um, add background, let's just go back up to the top one here, add background image. When you click on this, it shows you, so this has to be 970 by 300 pixels, okay? Um, now, the image that I used here, was a lot bigger than that um, initially when I went to Canva, but I'm going to jump over to Canva. And if you haven't used Canva yet, then I would sign up for it right away because this is definitely a tool that you want to be using, not just for A+, but a lot of other things, but how to create um, that image content so that it is 970 by 300. So go to canva.com and you can start by uh, they have a free, there's a free uh, membership and then a, a paid version, so it's up to you. Uh, you can do this with the free version, by the way. You don't need the paid one. So if you start here, create a design, um, and then you can go down to custom size, right? And, okay, so these were recent. I think I it's just um, showing me what I have used recently. Um, I'm just going to go with the 900, what was it, 970, sorry, 970 by 300, okay, there we go, 970 by 300, and I think that's it, create the design. So that's going to jump over to the design page. So there, we're all set. Now all I have to do, now let's just say, again, my image there, I had used a combination of images that I have uploaded. Um, one more point I was gonna make, by the way, when you get your book cover design and assuming you get a bunch of these images made, then the first thing that I always do is I upload these to Canva right away because I use Canva for um, well, A plus content, social media postings, all kinds of things, and I'm always using these images. So um, I'm just going to drop an image in there that looks like that. So there we go. All right. I'm not going to create this whole thing again, but I just want to show you that, you know, you can, um, this might take you like, I don't know, 20 minutes or half hour to create the first time. But, you know, um, I've got this filled out here, and then you can put something in here as well. I'm just kind of dropping things around here, but. Um, something like that right and then when you're when you've got your you know maybe this is like this is the top module um, uh, you can also add text by the way you can put text on the top of this and stuff like that so again I'm just playing with this it's not something that I would really use as my um, as the top image but anyway you just download it here um, I would download it as a let's see probably a JPEG small file size and then you just download it like that. And then once it downloads, then you can import it. There it is right there. So that's probably in my downloads somewhere on my computer. And then I would just take this and um, apply it to 
this area down here. Again, I'm just on the back end of my, my Mac here. That image showed up somewhere. I think that's it right there. Boom. Okay, there we go. So that's it. That's the first module. Now again, I you know this actually doesn't look too bad. Maybe it would be okay for a top image, but you know maybe you just want to have one big image at the top like that, like a banner, right? Um, okay. And the next thing would be like next thing you want to do is image keywords. So you can add keywords here, um, just describing what this is. All right, and then um, I'm just gonna put in. Okay, procrastination, and da -da. I'm not going to put in a whole bunch of keywords, but just going to add it, and boom. Okay, and that showed up. Now, something they have here is, like, you can enter some text here as well. Um, what I don't like about this is that it ends up on top of the image, so I'm not really sure if, um, you know, I would actually, whoops, I just deleted it. Okay, well, didn't want to do that. Um, Anyway, I'm not going to go back and, oh, I'm just going to cancel that. Okay, let's just cancel that. I'm going to go out of there because I'm not going to go through and show you the whole thing. But what I have created, like this is what I created um, initially, right? So again, I used four modules for this. Didn't use all five. Totally fine. But basically, once you go through and you get everything set up, I'm just going to go back and actually, whoops. I'm going to go through and just select a few of those. Da, da, da. All right, let's just say that we've got our modules all set up and ready to go. Um, if you don't want to publish this yet or if you don't want to move forward and you need to come back to it later, you can save it as a draft. Or the next thing you can do is um, after you've got everything all set up, you apply ASINs. Now what that means, the ASINs, you would just put in the ASIN for your book so that it's going to connect the ASIN for this book to uh, the A plus content. And if I go in here and I get, uh, let's see, you can find your ASIN on your book page actually. You just paste it in there, there it is there. And it's gonna connect your book to your ASIN there. So you're just gonna, again, you're just gonna apply this content like that. Right. and that's it so basically what we've done is we've we created the content we applied the ASINs and the next thing you're going to do is you're going to review and submit so you're going to submit that and they're going to get back to you hopefully in less than a week um, it might take 24 hours it might take a few days but once they do the content should appear on your book page so that's um, that's really the the I guess the short version of how this works. I mean, there's no really, there's not that much more to it. There's a few more things that I can show you actually, which I will. Um, if you wanted to apply this content to other stores like, you know, Brazil or Mexico, um, Spain, etc. So for example, I created one here in Spanish. I'm just gonna go into what I've got here and what you can do here, if you look here, here are the ASINs that I applied, okay? Now, by the way, you can apply more than one. I just put one in there. I'm probably gonna update it later on. Um, again, this is uh, not published yet, okay? But related content. So here's where you can choose create language variation. And yeah, you can, um, you can have this created in Spanish or Hebrew. It looks like they've only got the two options right now so I'm just setting up the Spanish but um, I'll probably follow up with the other languages in a different video just so that uh, this doesn't take up a lot of time because that's um, just creating some new content for that but you can actually copy the content if you want to have it created into different um, you know, other you know other countries but or other languages but for now just set it up in amazon.com and we can look at the other languages later so and that's it. Um, after that, your A plus content should be live. Um, and you can always go back and revise it if needed. So um, that's it for this video. And uh, if you have any questions, uh, let us know. And I'll see you in the next video.